What about here? It says, Why? Why, you Muslims, you have to obey Allah and Muhammad? Why you don't need to obey Allah only? If Muhammad is just a servant of Allah, who need to obey Muhammad? Because when you obey Allah, you obey everything, correct? You are, you are in the right track. Why the Quran says, Obey Allah and obey the messenger and do not infidelate your deeds. So if you don't obey Muhammad, you are not a Muslim. If you obey Allah, but you don't obey Muhammad, you are a bad person. You will go to hell. You say to me that you Muslims believe in one God. Obviously, Muhammad here, he put the name, his name, and his obedience equal to obedience of Allah. Because you cannot obey Allah alone. You have to obey Allah and Muhammad. Isn't it this is shirk? Uh, well, Muhammad is the prophet, so if he like, we should uh, if what he says is the uh, from God, so we should. It's just like we're basically obeying no problem. God. What he say from God, then you should obey God. Why you put the name of Muhammad there? If 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 what he said from God, say obey God. Why he put his name there? If I say to you that I am a prophet and God told me to do that, then obey God, not obey me. Why I put myself between? Why Allah is putting his name? Supposedly the one is talking here is Allah. Why he says obey Allah and... And by the way, how Allah he says obey Allah? I mean, have you ever heard of this? If I am a Christian prince, I say to you, obey Christian prince and obey Muhammad. I am a Christian prince. Well, God is speaking in, in third person here because uh, to like... like uh, I don't know like I think to signify power no it's like he's sort of uh, like you know like and uh, uh, like speaking when when it says we in the Quran it does not mean that there's multiple gods it's, it's one God but he's using the royal we royal we so Allah is is, is seeking royal Allah is seeking royal the no, God Almighty he is changing his definition by saying we because a king Hussein he said um, we is that a, is that really a, a reason if he is one, why he say we royal? Allah is trying to speak like the kings, but any king can say that we. This well, is the, this the is Bible a false. Now listen, 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 we? listen, listen. When Muhammad, when Muhammad he says, any Muslim woman she wanna give out her panty to the Prophet, is that an order from Allah or this is an order from a horny man? His name is Muhammad. The the Prophet never never said that. Never said that. Well, the verse in the Quran says, yeah. and any woman, any Muslim woman, she want to give herself to the Prophet so he can if her. Uh, I mean, like, uh, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Like, he can this is coming. This anyone? is coming from God. Any woman she want to if the Prophet. I mean, the, the man he have many wives already. Why he need God to make for him such a verse? What do you mean? Why God, the, the Muhammad, he had many wives. What does this have to do with Islam now? Muhammad is a prophet of God. He came to tell us about God. Muhammad, he want to spread Islam. Muhammad want to convert us to Islam. But Muhammad, now he want the vagina of our women. What does this have to do with Islam? Why any believing women, she have a chance. And Muhammad giving her a, a great opportunity. It's Allah is asking the believers. Allah asking the Muslim women. Any believing women, she want to give herself to the prophet so he can, yes, thank you, how it means, so he can if her. I mean, what what this have to do with God? Who is the one getting the benefit of this if in business? The monkey business, Muhammad. The one who created the universe, the one who created the, the, the whole world is making a verse, says, hey, hey, female, any one of you would like to have a bang, bang, being born with the prophet? Give yourself to the prophet. Come on, come on, come on. Show me, silence me, teach me. I mean, come on. Well, like uh, this is uh, well, maybe like like the Quran. It's it's not all of it. It's God's word. Like maybe the, like like the prophet uh, he, he put some like words in it. I don't know. What do you mean? What does have to do with God? You see, I am a Christian prince. Let us say I am claiming that I am a prophet. And then I come here in this chat. I have like 1,000 people listening. And I say to them, hey, females in the, you know, who want to sleep with me? Come on, this is crazy. This is sick. This can't be from God. Muhammad already had many wives. He had many slave girls sleeping with them. 
why he need a verse from God to say any women she want to give herself to the Prophet obviously Muhammad now taking advantage of the people he became a prophet he became powerful and he want to have sex with everybody he don't even respect his followers otherwise you tell me what is the benefit of this what does this have to do with God why God he was putting his his nose in the panty of Muhammad and the panties of the believers this is about panties about about sex and Muhammad is not a single guy so Allah he's trying to find him a good wife he had many wives already so what this is about it's very obvious that Muhammad is fabricating a verse trying to get women into his bed claiming that God told him he's not the guy who cared for that man and busy and look what happened when ugly women they start coming to Muhammad what Muhammad what Muhammad he did Muhammad he said to himself uh oh I'm getting many ugly women now after I made this verse so what I will do I am going uh, to make another verse says I have the right to choose the one I like and I will uh, refuse the one I don't like I mean have you ever heard of madness like this look what he said you oh Muhammad SAW can postpone the women who you you will postpone what does that mean women they start coming to Muhammad they are ugly and he don't like how they look like so Muhammad he starts saying oh oh I said whoever a Muslim woman she can give herself to me and now I have a lot of them and many of them they are ugly so how I can get rid of them so he created another verse saying Allah he told me I can postpone upon any one of you and I choose the one I like I mean isn't it this is obvious I mean what kind of a prophet this prophet is uh wait so this verse is saying that he can postpone the turn of uh whom you will what, what does that mean the women who is coming to have sex with him you see the Muslim in the translation they lie they say wives there's none of them became a wife not even one of them became a wife those women they want to sleep with him because he just told them in the previous verse any one of the of, of them they want to sleep with you they are welcome uh you mean you mean marry them right not what marry them <laughs> Okay, name for me one of the women who gave herself to Muhammad became a wife. Go ahead. He did not marry any of them. Never. It's just for sex. Sexy club. The Prophet sexy club. Uh, can you show me like the, the, the whole verse just so much so I can so I can read? I'm showing the you verse. the whole verse. Okay, we go. You can read it, my friend. You can open your Quran from your side if you want. And then here it says, and any believing women. Any believing women, you know, we can change the translation if you want. I mean, this is my translation here. Uh, this is verse 51 of which chapter? Verse number 50 and 51 in chapter 33. Any woman want to give herself to the prophet, give herself to the prophet. Imagine we say to those people here, they are watching, hey, Christian prince, Muhammad Hijab, he accept donation as cash and women, please. I mean, come on. Women? I mean, we, we arrive to the point we have no shame to say that any woman she want to give herself to the prophet? Why is that? What does this have to do with God? How I can serve God by saying any woman she can sleep with me? Unless you're Muslim, you believe that when Muhammad have sex, he have orgasm and Allah, he have orgasm by Muhammad. Otherwise, what joy that will bring to Allah. I don't know this is hmm. disgusting isn't it you have to agree my friend come on I advise you to leave Islam immediately well uh, I don't know because like well come on I, be honest I, with yourself you, you see you are a gentleman you are a gentleman and I'm sure you don't accept such a thing I don't think your family I don't think your 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 history I don't think your mother your father are bad people I think you are coming from a good family so how in the world you accept such a man come to you and says any woman she can give herself to me what does this have to do with God what servant I'm doing to God by sleeping with Muhammad be honest with yourself my friend you see I'm not against you when I talk to Muslims Muslim they think I hate them I don't hate Muslims I would never hate them my Lord he, he, he ordered me to love everybody so I am here trying to help you to show you that what you believe in is a scam this man is not speaking for God. He's speaking for his panty. He's speaking for his private part. What's the point of this? You see, 
Giving charity, I understand why giving charity is very good. Helping others is very good. But, on, on, you know, all good things to do for others are very good. But to do it for Muhammad, it's about sex. And you will see here, it says it's a privilege only for Muhammad. This is a privilege only for Muhammad. Why Muhammad, he needs such a privilege? What that privilege will, 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 will do for him? What that privilege would do to God? Why the, the rest of the Muslim do not have such a privilege? You need to ask yourself, my friend, when God, he gave a privilege to someone, what this purpose of this privilege? Is that going to make Islam better? Is that going to convince the Christians that Muhammad is a decent man? Oh. Actually, I can show you where, where your book saying that if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband, he must divorce her immediately. Do you believe it? Wait, uh, come again? Your books, it's your books, your Islamic book says that if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, which means a woman, she was walking down the street and Muhammad, uh, he saw her. Her husband, he have to divorce her immediately so the prophet can sleep with her. Uh, can I see that verse? All right, not verse. This is the, this is in your books. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of of, of Saudi Arabia. And read with me here what it says. Amazing, Muhammad he been given sixteen privilege. Sixteen privilege. The first one, Safiul Magnam, which means the best of the booty. So if you if we attack a house, the big the big screen TV go to the Prophet. The small TV goes for you. Al istibdadu bi khums al khums. Fifth of the booty will go to him. This is the second one. The three is al wisal. The fourth is al ziyada fi arba nuswa, which means to have more than four women. Every Muslim can have only four. Al khamis al nikah bi lafz al hiba. Any woman she can give herself by just saying that. There's no need for witnesses. No need. He can just if her. Al sadis al nikah bi la wali. A woman, she can give herself to the Prophet without permission from her parents. Imagine, a Muslim, he cannot do that. A woman, she can do that to Muhammad only. Muhammad, he do not need to pay dowry for the women. Even when he is doing ihram, he can have sex, but Muslims cannot. He used to take an oath. Number nine, he can take an oath and he can break the oath only him muslims cannot do that when he take an oath for women and al asher idha waqa'a basarahu ala imra'a wajaba ala zawjiha talaqiha wa halla lahu nikahuha the mic is yours translate please if, if he sees a woman uh, her husband has to divorce her and she is uh, she is permissible for him to uh, f her okay what do you think of this why, if your prophet saw a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately, so the prophet he can sleep with her. Uh, uh, this is like uh, what servant? What 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 that have to do with God, my friend? What do it have to do God? Imagine I am a person trying to say to you that I am here coming to serve God. I'm a servant of God. God He sent me to you, and then I say to you. If I see your wife and I like her, you have to divorce her so I can sleep with her. What kind of religion this religion is? Well, I mean, like uh, in the Bible, uh, Solomon had 700 wives. My friend, my friend, the Bible is a book of history and the book of God, which means history of people with God. So in the Bible, it might say Christian prince, he commits sin. It might say Christian prince commit adultery. It might say that Christian prince, he killed people. It might say Christian prince, he have a thousand women. But it's not God who told him to have and to do. There's a huge difference. Here, this guy, he claimed that this is coming from his God. We have in the Bible many people who commit sin, and they are asking God for forgiveness. As an example, David himself. He commits sin and he asks God for forgiveness. He did not say that God told me to look at this woman, uh, this woman and he and, and, and sleep with her. He did not make an excuse that this is coming from God. What your prophet doing, 
he want women to sleep with him and he claim it is God this is a privilege from God this is not his fault uh, yeah I mean I think I think you're right this is like wrong so my friend thank you very much you see you are a decent man this guy I told you I, I have a feeling about about people you know this person is coming from a good family there's no way his owner will accept such a thing if Muhammad tried to do that to your wife I'm sure you will kill him because you have an honor you are not a trashy person who will accept such a thing you have dignity yeah this is wrong so denounce Islam my friend say Islam is obviously Muhammad is a false prophet that's it get out of this cult they fool you they say to him he's a trustworthy he is the good guy he is the perfect man he is the perfect between the best of mankind they worship him they made him in a in a point that nobody even dared to question his honor but the second we start reading and we did not even read much there is tons of stories disgusting we are just scratching the surface outside and look what we found and as long as you agree that this is wrong that's when muhammad can't be a prophet Correct, my friend? Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. I'm so happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. But like, I, I don't know, like if Islam is wrong, then like, uh, like what's, what's the truth? Like, my friend, I don't know because my friend, I've been raised. I advise you, I advise you to go and download the, the Bible, the, the, the New Testament, because the New Testament is about Jesus and his teaching. The Old Testament is history and a lot of history. Read the teaching of Jesus and see what Jesus is about. Muhammad, obviously, he's a person working for his own. He, he opened a corporation. He put the title of God, but the fact behind the title, there's something else. There's someone trying to use you and abuse you and take advantage of you. Read about Jesus. You will see it's the opposite. You are the one who said to me the Christian believe that God died for them. So look, 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 look how different is Jesus and Muhammad. Jesus, he came to us to save us, and even his life paid to save me. He did not ask me for return. And look at this guy, he wants to sleep with my wife. Jesus, he did not ask for money. Imagine if Jesus he can raise people from death. How many kings they will give him everything they have? All the kings in the world, they will be his slaves. Just keep me alive, please. Each time I die, keep me alive. If Jesus will abuse his power, which is beyond imagination, what Jesus can do? So I invite you right now, my friend, to accept the Messiah as your savior. You breathe, but there is no guarantee that you will breathe tomorrow. Maybe you are young, but don't worry. There's many people, they are young and they die before the old one. Maybe you are 10 years old. Maybe you are 50 years old. Maybe you are 18 years old, but death come any moment, any second. And then you will not earn your salvation. I invite you right now as we speak to accept the Messiah, the amazing teaching of the Messiah, the Savior, Yeshua, the Messiah, Yeshua al Messiah, the only Savior, the one who says, love your enemy. The one who said it's been said to you, but I say to you, for he have the authority. If somebody asks you for your code, give him your address. If somebody asks you to walk a step with him, walk with him 1,000. If somebody curse you, pray for him. Don't curse him and kill him. He did not say to people, give me your women. He did not say, give me your, 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 your money. God do not need money. And even servant of God. The second a man he works to serve money, it means he is serving the devil. The second a man he serves sex, it means he is serving the devil. You see, all of us, we are sinners. And me and you, we are not better. We, we get tempted. We get tempted by women. We get tempted by, by, by sex, by, by, by money. But we don't claim that God is telling me to do that. That's disgusting. That is an insult to God. If God is a true exist. So I invite you right now, my friend, to accept the Messiah as your savior. 
and you cannot say one day I never heard of you the Messiah because one day the time will come and the Messiah will ask you did the person his name is a Christian Prince say to you I invite you to accept me as your Savior and you said no what do you oh, want to say my friend I, I I like the the message of Christianity like love and forgiveness I think that uh, that's like nice so uh i don't know you know my friend you know it's not only about forgiveness it's not only about love you see the first thing jesus teach you is not to be selfish when when they asked jesus how to pray he said he told them pray like this our father out of heaven and then he said forgive to us the same as we forgive to others this is not about forgiveness. This is about not being selfish, not about to think about yourself. You see, the problem in this earth is everybody think of himself the same as Muhammad. He want to sleep with all the women. But he's not thinking about the women. He's not thinking about their husband. He's not thinking about the feeling of those people using them and abusing them, sleeping around and then dumping them. He is thinking only about himself. That is the devil. Selfishness is about being satanic. Jesus is anti selfishness serve others so you can be served when jesus he said to his followers i want to wash your feet they said to him what are you talking about you are our god how you can wash our feet they refuse he said to them if you don't let me do it you don't belong to me imagine god himself who is coming to us as a man he is humbling himself and washing our feet Why Jesus is doing that? He don't need to do that. This person is resurrecting people from death. Is this person is making the blind see? This person is amazing. People they are amused. Like I mean, what? Whoa, whoa! This man, what he can do? And then he said to them, "I want to wash your feet," because Jesus want to give us the best example how you can be a follower of Him. If you want to follow me, you wash the feet. To be a master, you have to be a servant. You do what servants do. You don't do what masters do. People, they want to be masters to have servant. Jesus wants you to be a servant, then you are a master. And that's my Lord. So I truly, from my heart, my friend, I invite you to accept the Messiah because this is an opportunity. It might not come to you again. I accept them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A happiness in the kingdom of God. A happiness in the kingdom of God for this brother who accepted the Messiah as his savior. The Bible says that a happiness in the kingdom of God will be for one, one soul is saved. This is how much God he loves you, my friend. And now you are a child of God. Child of God does not mean that God have sex with Mary and you have his son. Child of God, that's mean you are in his kingdom. You are under his care. You are under his protection. You are beloved for him. He is always about love. You made a decision you will never regret. And the Lord, he loves you, my friend. I'm so happy today that you called me. I'm so happy that you reach the right decision. Uh, thank you. Um, I uh, I'll have to keep this secret because like uh, I, my family wouldn't like it. But I'll, I'll start reading the Bible and uh, learn. All right, my friend. If you have any question, feel free to call me. All right. And there's a brother. His name is Sam Shamoon. He have a channel in YouTube. He teach the Bible. You can ask him questions. He would be happy to teach you. Just tell him Christian Prince send it to send me to you. And I left Islam and I accepted the Messiah. He will be happy to help you. Okay. All right, my friend. I'm so happy for you. I don't even know your name, but I don't care. For the Lord, he knows your name. For the Lord, he knows us one by one. And Jesus, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Your name is not important. Your name might be Muhammad, but the Lord, he loves you. Your name is not what will define you from today. It is who you are. From their fruits, you will know them and you will notice my friend that you will change 
you will be a different person. You are not a black stone kisser no more. You are not in need to pray in direction of a stone. God is everywhere. And God, he don't care for people who pray in the corner. Actually, Jesus, he warned us not to be like them, not to be hypocrite. He said, when you pray, go to your closet. So I advise you today, before you sleep, my friend, anytime you wish, don't force yourself on a certain time to pray. This is Christianity. This is not Islam. God is not a bus station. He will take your prayer in certain time. If you miss it, he will not take it. That is a joke. Anytime you feel like your heart when to speak to the Lord, speak to him. Say whatever you wish. He's listening. Be decent with yourself. Confess your sin. Say, God, I am a sinner. Speak about your sin. Not because you are proud of it, but because you are humble and you know that you are wrong. May the Lord bless you, my friend. And again, I'm so happy that you called me. If you have any other friends who would like to call me, I will be happy to talk to them and bring them to the truth. And the truth will set you free.